Good YouTube, because of Cobby here, Nightwish Army. How are you guys doing? We're getting into the next track off of the Yesterwind album. This is An Ocean of Strange Islands. It's a long one. So this may be our only video of the night, depending on how long this breakdown takes us. I'm not sure if this is going to be a lot of instrumental or if it's going to be vocal heavy. So depending on how many lyrics there are. We might be here for a minute, or it could be beautiful instrumentals that we just vibe into and pass a lot of time with. It all depends. We'll see what Nightwish gives us with this one. I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you're new here, subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation. I like going the whole nine yards on busting these lyrics out for you guys. I really love Nightwish's lyrics. We've had so many amazing conversations uh, breaking down their songs. The, the greatest show on earth was a hell of a breakdown. I really liked that one. That's one of the best breakdowns I've ever done. I really loved that one. As well as many other Nightwish songs that just got into really astral, spiritual kind of topics, very deep emotional awareness kind of stuff, and human nature type of subject matter into Omos's writing. This album is obviously related to the loss of somebody, but uh, the way Tuomas explained it, I saw a short that Tuomas put up on Nightwish's page where he was saying that the album was meant to be taken more as a celebration of life rather than being sad about the loss of something. So I love that perspective, and I, I that's something I would expect from him. He's very wise. He's very thoughtful. And when he uploaded that short and I saw it, it made me look at the album in a new light where he's celebrating everything that happened in life and how life is a celebration. The memories are celebration. The experience is celebration. And I really, really appreciate that he put that up there on Nightwish's page. That's, that was a really nice bit for him to put up there. So this album is like a celebration of life and all of the things that go along with it, as well as the painful situations and things you learn from and grow from as well. Totally a Nightwish thing to do. I'm really excited for the rest of the album after seeing that. I just wanted to bring that up real quick. If you guys struggle with mental health or addiction, anyone that's watching, please go get yourself professional help. I had to do that for myself. I pulled myself out of it. Got on here to spread the message to other people that they should also take the step to do that for their self and live a better life where they inspire other people and actually carry out their dreams and build the life that they want rather rather than burning themselves down into the ground with addictions and poor mental health. And obviously mental health is something you have to really work at. Sometimes it's chemical imbalance and you have to fucking find a way to get your system balanced back out and everything like that, whether it's exercise. Exercise helps a lot when it comes to the chemical side of it. If you don't want to take medications, you're going to have to exercise. So pick one, right? <laughs> really realistically it's it's that simple if you if you don't want to have to exercise all the time that's when you'll take the medication but if you want to avoid that medication you're going to want to put in a lot of exercise and work to balance your chemicals of your system back out for mental health right it's a long tumultuous fucking struggle to get through but you'll make it i promise i just like to say that at the beginning of my videos for anyone that might need to hear it as someone who survived it theirself. So we're going to get into this for you. I'm really excited for some more Nightwish. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in Nightwish Army. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Nightwish and Ocean of Strange Islands. Ooh, nice. I like that.
get into the vocals, there's so much going on. It sounds metal as hell. A real chuggy double bass. Awesome on the heaviness. But if you listen into the background and the backdrop of this track, there's so much going on with like wind instruments doing fucking runs and all kinds of stuff going on with the keyboard and shit. There is like a lot going on in the background of this if you pull it back and listen to the back of the mix where it's not the heavied up chuggy part in the front, the driving beat. There's a lot of fucking notes going on back there. <laughs> I like that. I like that a whole lot. That's heavy as fuck right there. That's some heavy, heavy shit. I like it. I like the speed of it. I love the double bass. I'm trying to pull this back a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> this is Nightwish's very aggressive side, and I love it. I love when they get into this more thrashy kind of side, the really sped up side of their sound. This first verse is nice. I like that we have the lyric video. I like that there's a lyric video with the lyrics popping up as well, because I was reading them already. It's very poetic what was being said here. A mariner under a sky moon lit on an island of a crewless ship. That's a hell of a scenario, right? <laughs> yeah, just out there by yourself on an island of a crewless ship, he said. Wow. <laughs> a few decades of immortality ahead. A one-man crew for a one-way trip. Oh, boy. That journey, that one-man journey, eh? Islands, islands everywhere. I keep my range with crowded sails. My waves, they kiss every shore I land. Wow, my waves, they kiss every shore I land. Steep cliffs will mock my waving hand. It's describing sailing past all these things, but you could look at them as circumstances in life. A few decades of immortality ahead, saying, oh, mmm, Wow. Is that saying that, like, eventually, unless you did something really crazily drastic for the world, a few decades of immortality ahead, people will remember you for that long, but then, mm, it starts to fall out of range, almost, with the newer generations knowing about you and stuff like that. It could be, like taken like that, but to almost might mean something completely different. You never know with this guy, right? <laughs> I love it, though. This is, this is really awesome so far. I like that we got a heavy one. <laughs> wow 
This is really lyrical right here. The descriptors are so great. Very, very awesome. It's like a, a novel, right? The way he writes is like very novel. Like, islanders, villagers, universal mariners, calling me, guiding me, monsters far beneath. Mm. Hurricanes on the way, lunatic weather vanes. Wow. The words that he chooses to use in lyrics is awesome. Lunatic weather vanes, shipwrecked lovers on a faraway K is a bar. That is awesome right there. <laughs> wow, shipwrecked lovers on a faraway K. Ah, we were talking about the shipwrecked lovers already. And yeah, we already talked about that, right? But he has tied that into the whole album, as I can see here. Much as to be expected to him, us is brilliant at concepts and sticking to them whenever it comes to his project, right? I love that about him. Passing by butterflies fluttering for a day. Hmm, just fluttering for a day, eh? Passing by butterflies. Well, that's talking about passing moments, passing people, fleeting connections. Wow. Damn, to Amos. Jokers, jesters, goddesses, hum day. Deep, delicious blue beneath, I'll steer wherever tomorrow is near. My word, bro. Then the pre-chorus. We haven't even gotten into a chorus yet. We had two verses and a pre-chorus. <laughs> Light a beacon so I can navigate through the tempest, through the madness. Light a home fire for the sad man with a begging hand, he said. Wow. Light a home fire for the sad man with a begging hand. What a statement. Man, talking about care for your fellow man is what he's saying there. Light a home fire. Light the fire to take them home to keep them warm, right? Wow. Light a beacon so I can navigate. <laughs> He's saying, fuck, I need a beacon too. <laughs> Light a beacon so I can navigate, right? Through the tempest following the quintet. Ride on the highest wave. Bring me to life to them who dance in the daylight. Nice shout to Evanescence there. I don't know if he meant it as that, but it's there. It's certainly there. I would imagine as bands with a sort of similar vein to their art. That probably is an intentional shout, but only two Omos knows that, so maybe he'll tell us at some point. Maybe he won't, <laughs> right? I love this song so far. These lyrics are awesome, and this, the fucking sound is epic. You guys already know I love when a Nightwish gets fucking heavy. one of their best instrumental breaks ever, to be honest. <laughs> wow, that one was good. That was a journey. I love the tempo changes. So 
breakdown in this in certain sections. Very riffy, a lot of notation going on. whole lot going on with the drums, the fucking synth. I, everything about that was really technical. Very brilliantly composed. First off, I really fuck with that. The chorus, the lyrics were Sail and Seek, the Starbound Key, Calling You, Calling Me to Be a Part of Your Story. Man. So the Starbound Key is calling both of them to be a part of this, of their own story. The Key wants to be a part of the story is what it's saying. The Starbound Key. Not Key as in unlocking a door, but Q-U-A-Y, right? <laughs> Not like a door key, the other kind. Wow. Really, really beautiful here. And that, that instrumental section is one of the best they've done, in my opinion. I really enjoyed that one. It's still going. I love these graphics here. fucking wild with it. I love that the third verse doesn't go back into the fast section. She decided to do vocals over the breakdown -y section, which is a brilliant call by the whole band that adds a lot of diversity to the song and an opportunity for new cadence. And she also started going a little bit mad there on the word mad, ironically enough, right? I love it. I love how whimsical it is in that part, right? That's, that's the only word I could think of for that specific section with the voice throw and everything. I like that. That's really nice. The lyrics are awesome. Here raining ash to cover the dead and island of the past Rex. That's... Wow. <laughs> wow. Raining ash to cover the dead. An island of the past wrecks. Wow. Raining ash over... T oh my goodness. An island of the past wrecks. I mean, he's talking about shipwrecks and stuff like that, but it's an analogy for the things you go through in life. Like, you know, it's a metaphor for those things. He really goes in, bro. Tuomas has such a deepness. You have to really think about it to understand what he's trying to get at with his lyrics because he's he's metaphorically talking about the things we go through in life, but describing them with like adventure kind of, crazy adventure kind of scenarios in the lyrical aspects of it. It's brilliant. It's really brilliant. Here raining ash to cover the dead and island of the past wrecks. Of you, of the endless sundown, the dark night of the soul, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> <coughs> Hemlock Meadows, deepest quicksand, that sucks. <laughs> Empty harbor by, you know, before I continue anymore, I thought quicksand was going to be a much fucking bigger problem for everybody in my life than it actually was by the time we got to be adults. <laughs> Cartoons had me thinking that, like, fucking, that was going to be a significant problem in my life. For real. I'm drinking a milkshake, and there's M&Ms in it, if you're wondering. So, 
We have empty harbor by a wasteland, mirrors, mirrors everywhere for you of mad despair. Mmm. Okay. Okay, empty harbor by a wasteland, mirror, mirrors everywhere for you of mad despair. So all you can see is yourself? Whoa. Or mirrors of you. Like people projecting back onto you, right? My goodness, the layers of how you could take that, though. Wow. Two Omos is fucking different, I'll tell you that. He always gets me going when it comes to songs like this. I love the way they've structured this. I love how wild it got. I like the voice throw that Floor did there. All around this is extremely creative. This is probably my favorite one off of the album so far. And... I'm sure that that's not the last time I'm going to end up saying this during the album range. <laughs> Man. back to the chorus was so sudden it was a perfect burst of energy that's how you fucking transition right there that even caught me by surprise that's rare i usually see the changes coming in music as somebody who's made a lot of music and who's just listened to a shit ton of music for my whole life of all different kinds i can generally predict whenever something's coming but that actually caught me off guard i was about to pause and say something about the lyrics and then i had to fucking let myself jam <laughs> so we have friends who were for a time now grapes of sour wine to almost that's one way to 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 say it yeah to Omos, like, tells people how they made him feel throughout his life without, like, necessarily dissing a person, right? But he'll address the scenarios very, very poetically. Like, friends who were for a time now grapes of sour wine, lords of a single fly. Still, I rue no island of shared solitude. Wow. Wow. I rue no island of shared solitude. Man. Lords of a single fly, though. There's a, That's the only annotation on the whole lyric sheet. What's it say? Let's see what it says. It's a... Okay, so it is a reference to... The Lord of the Flies. But unlike in the novel, what does it say here? Unlike in the novel, the islands here are abandoned, so the roles are reversed. To Omos is like, <clears throat> he, this isn't the first time he's done this. He's taking literary references, but doing them in the role reversal form with his lyrics in this album. <laughs> 
he said, let's reverse all of that and tell that story, you know? Wow. I get it now. I get the references and how he's tying in pieces of literature, but playing role reversal with them, with the topics that he's saying in his songs. That's really creative right there. I wonder if he does it more times, because this is a second song that that's happened in now. You who glow in deepest woe, let it be, retire re, the water's fine, sail carefree. That's beautiful. You who glow in deepest woe, though, saying you could be in the most woeful state, like the deepest of it, but you glow still. Wow. Nightwish is beautiful, man. What a beautiful band they are. <laughs> I never know what to expect when we're breaking down the lyrics. It's just so beautifully written. Really, really beautifully written onto Omos's part for everything that he fucking writes. I haven't read a single lyric by him that wasn't deep as hell. Every single word that he puts into a song is so important and has a reason and a purpose to stand out and have meaning. I love that about Nightwish's lyrics and the music just adds that much more character to the story inside of it all. Very, very brilliant right here. I love this song a lot. I see you. To almost put the healing frequency at the end of that song, I know so because I felt it. <laughs> Feels like electricity. <laughs> 
these guys are wild. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly which one it was, but it was one of them. <laughs> you can feel that shit. Very amazing. That's really fucking awesome right there. I like that they ended it like that after being so heavy the whole time. They brought you right back down to earth without a choice. Because that's involuntary. <laughs> that's subconscious. <laughs> wow. That's awesome right there. These guys are brilliant. All of them. Every artist inside of Nightwish is brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Song right here. I really enjoyed this one. I, like I said, I think this might be my favorite one off of the album so far. I'm going to pop a like on that. Man, so impressive. The poetry inside of these lyrics. The uh, tying in a story of adventure to the things that we go through in life as a, as a metaphorical representation, right? It's really beautiful. It's so well written. The video was amazing. The lyric video. I love all the graphics they had going on. I love that they had the lyrics up on the screen for us. Even though I still use the lyric sheet, obviously. I still use the lyric sheet. Absolutely gorgeous song right here. I really enjoyed this a lot. Nightwish Army. Thank you for tuning in i appreciate you guys a whole whole lot the original video for this will be in the description subscribe to nightwish support all the artists that we have on the channel go show them love always show the original artists love they work really hard to make all this amazing music and it is a blessing to be able to break it down for you guys and to have nice conversations and just have a nice time together spend some time together wind down from your day relieve some stress with some laughs and some awesome music. I love that we can share that with each other as somebody who has built our entire life and personality off of music for forever in my life, right? <laughs> for forever since I was a kid. It really means the world to me to be able to do this with you guys. So thank you very much for that. Please go get help for addiction and mental health if you need it. Live your best life. Inspire others to do the same thing. Don't ever give up, man. I promise you, you can end up in a much better place than where you might be right now. It might not look like it. It might not feel like it. But I said no a hundred times. And eventually, the one time that I finally said yes and beat it, I realized that I was wrong every other time that I said no. That's not possible right? I said once, yes. And it was all different that time, right? One time you say yes, and it will change your life forever. I can promise you that. So go get that help and live a better life and inspire other people. Nightwish Army, I love you guys. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.